from Orlando, Florida. It's packed the plex and a sold out UCF softball complex. It's game two of this Big 12 series as the UCF Knights hosting the number two ranked Texas Longhorns right here on Big 12 now. On ESPN played to the College World Series at OKC for losing to Oklahoma in the National Championship Series. One, two. There's a ground ball to second. Aubrey Evans is there. Throw to first in time. Four, three. Willis. Payoff pitch from Willis. Mr. Lowe, ball four and a walk to Scott. It's a good discipline by Scott. So to see them kind of stray away from that is a little discouraging. 2-2, two -two, it's a grounder to third. Humphreys will go to second. Aubrey Evans will throw to first. Mitchell gets, uh, gets on there on their fielder's choice. But Power to all parts as well. 2-1 pitch, high runner goes, and Mitchell, the throw to second is in time! She's out, what a throw by Carson Fryer, and the tag was made. I think when you're a coach and you talk about approach, you don't always look at output, right? Stormy was one for four on the night, but had really great at-bats. It's one to left here, is playable as the catch is made. For the it's the balls, you can't make errors, right? But the more speed you have, the better you can be. Cody will take a walk. One out walk to Cody here in the bottom of the first. It changes on the fly. As Humphreys gets jammed, pops it up in the infield. Washington and Martinez, it was Washington that makes the catch. Washington, like, hey, I had that. Did you not hear me? The matchups don't make it easy for opposing hitters. <laughs> the 0 2 swing and a miss. Chloe goes down on strikes as Gutierrez pitches the, uh, gets, works around a walk, beat it off here against Sarah Willis. Atwood was at the plate in the first when Jolie Mitchell was thrown out trying to steal second for the first time this year. Atwood hits one to deep right field. Evans goes back at the wall, makes the catch. An amazing catch by Chloe Evans. Wow. So good. Here's a comebacker to Willis. Will throw to first in time. Of course, Chloe Evans roommates with Sarah Willis. They and it's a good pitcher's pitch for sure, but good take as well. 2-1. Hit to short. Williams to first. And a 1-2-3 inning for Willis and the Knights defense. Highlighted by that Chloe Evans catch. Kind. Not the bad kind. Savannah Adams here getting the start to lead it off here at the bottom of the second against Gutierrez. Hits one to first. And it's cleanly played there by Katie for the first out here in the home half of the second. To help her own cause. Swings and misses as Gutierrez gets the strikeout. Foster was one of the best teammates she ever had. That's Took care cool. of the team, take him out to dinner, take care of it. Great combo there. There's a grounder to short, and the throw to first in time as Martinez makes the play to retire Williams and the Knights here in the second. Played baseball. It's the two pitch. She gets a grounder to Humphreys, who will go to first in time. Nice play by the freshman, Sierra Humphreys. Not an easy ball there. That ball <clears throat> kind of died there, but Humphreys was right in front of was ready for it. 2-2. Two -two. It's a high chopper foul. Slap there to third base. And coming from the side as an offensive player, I was obviously never in across the country. That's hit to short. Williams is there. Throw to first. In time. Nice play by Cody there at first base, making that play, keeping the foot on the back. Shortstop. Yeah, you and everybody else, right? <laughs> Just Owen, saying. <laughs> Owen to the count. Strike three looking frozen. Willis with the strikeout, a one, two, three, third. Getting the Longhorns down in order. Uh, yeah, I'd say so. Aubrey Evans swings at the first pitch. It's a fly ball to right, and the catch is made for the first out of the inning. Is good. The pitch, Ray taps it to short. Tough play for Martinez, throws to first in time. What a play by Vivi Martinez, who makes the- They're saying, hey, what do you think yeah. here? She walked over to the dugout. Stormy hits one to right. That's gonna drop in for the hit. A first base hit of the ball game by either side belongs to the Knights and Stormy Kotzelnik. Stormy Kotzelnik was seeing the ball so well, it was only a matter of time before she found her way on base, takes that pitch low in the zone, still drops barrel. 
That's a great piece of hitting. I love her. Cody lines it to second, but Washington is there. We'll throw to first to retire the side. A nice play by Washington to get Cody. It's early in the mix for National Freshman of the Year. Hits one to second. Aubrey Evans is there. Throw to first in time to retire Henry, who's 0 for 2. Or don't commit. Sometimes you just get frozen. That's a comebacker to Willis, who fields her own position. Throws to first in time to retire. 1-2 from Willis. Got her. Strikeout for Willis. She gets through the fourth. And she retires as high-powered Longhorns offense in order. We'll talk. The plate and see the ball over the middle as much as you can, especially when you're ahead in the count. And when you're ahead in the count, get your swing off, right? Get your timing down, be on time, and don't miss. She swings at the first pitch, grounds to short. Martinez is there, throw to first in time to get. It's a tough pitch when it's just continuing to move away. 2-2 two, two pitch, Evans hits a fly ball, but playable to center, left center. Henry comes all the way to left to make the catch. <laughs> and Chloe Evans is retired. That was in Clearwater. Adams grounds one to short here, Martinez. First, in a one, two, three inning by Gutierrez. Run against Oklahoma State last year. That pitch is called a ball, and it's two and two. The lay off that pitch. I think it was the right call. She grounds to short. Williams is there. Throw to first. And Atwood is retired. So no harm, no foul, as they say. The 2 2. Inside corner, frozen. Strike three. Willis gets the strikeout for the second out. We hope the, it was the ace for the Knights alongside Kamal Woodall. That ball is going to drop for a hit to center. First hit of the ball game for the Longhorns comes via Katie Seema. Single. Shot a run against Willis. Runner at first, two outs with a 1-0 count to Martinez, who drills one into right field. That is a fair ball. Fair ball down the line. They're going to send Wallace. The throw from Aubrey Evans is cut off. It's an RBI double by Martinez, and the Texas Longhorns take a 1-0 lead here in the fifth. Vivi Martinez going to tomahawk that ball, elevated in the zone across the numbers of her jersey, just going to get her hands around that pitch. Beautiful job down the right field line. That is a quality at bat there, just seeing it out of the hand. That's called having a plan, trying to limit any further damage. Now Maloney at the plate. Chops one high to third. Humphreys will have no play. That's a vintage Maloney hit. Slap hitter. And now Texas with runners at the corners. With culture, get that kind of buy-in, whether you're a starter or somebody that's going to be a role player. That is hit, base hit to right field. An RBI single for good. Chloe throwing there is cut off by Willis. It's an RBI single by Leanne Good, and it's 2 nothing Texas. Good does a great job just taking her hands right to that pitch. Again, something more up in the zone, but going to match play. And this is telling me that Texas is really thinking about those plans in the box, what pitches they're hunting. We are finally. Against Kate and Henry. It's a comebacker off Jules Glove to Williams, who touched the bag at second for the force out to end the inning. But Texas gets two runs on four hits and strands two and lead. Something well off the plate from Gutierrez and just bringing it back over the white is going to be the plan for UCF. Yeah, that's a comebacker to Gutierrez, who throws the first. Former assistant at Boise State doing a great job as the head coach at Gardner Webb as Williams hits one to right. That's going to drop for a hit. Williams riding, uh, going to first, going to second, will stand there with a one out double for Jazz Williams. Starting to see her bat come into life. As Evans comes to life with a base hit to right. They will hold Williams at third. Aubrey Evans will take second on the throw home, and the Knights. I've got something cooking here in the bottom of the fifth, second and third with one out. So 2-2 two, two count. Ray hits it to the right side. Washington will underhand to first to get the out, but Jazz Williams comes in to score, and it's a two-to-one ball game, and that's a quality out for Ray. Hit the ball to the right side and drive in the run. Ball game, one for two today. The lefty-lefty matchup is hard, though, because the ball's just tailing away from you. 
Linder knocked down by Check. Who will throw it first, throws it away! Throw it away! De Hoya will score, and we're tied at 2-2 two -two as the Longhorns make a mistake defensively. Stormy Kotzman has had a really good at bats. So seven at bats and plate appearances that we've seen from her. Fires this one right back at Check. First pitch that she's going to see in the zone. Taking advantage, line drive right back at the circle. Going to rattle check just a little bit. Does enough of a job causing the errant throw, but that's so tough as it. His check delivers. Cody pops it up. Washington, here in the grass area, makes the catch. To end the inning. We go to the six. Knights get two runs back, and we're tied at two. Full of their night hit, uh, pitchers warm it up. As Joe gives a four pitch walk to Scott to start the six. There's one. You have a short leash on Jewel. Mitchell swings away and drops a base hit in front of Ray. Mike White's going to send the throw by Willis to home plate. She's out. Scott's thrown out on a throw by Sarah Willis. Fryer on the tag. What a throw and play by the Knights. Sarah Willis just comes up with an absolute cannon. Gonna get the out call at home. You've got Grace Jewell fired up. I think Mike White's gonna question whether or not the tag was actually made from Fryer right there, but it does look like yeah, the tag. she... And they've overturned the call. They said... enough boy, I don't know about that. Nonetheless, here's a pitch gets past Fryer. And so a huge swing there, and it's 3-2 Texas. That's the RBI number 51 for Atwood. Puts her 15 behind Lindsey Stevens and Taylor Tom for the school record as Washington gets hit by a pitch from Justman. This is the free passes, the freebies that we talk about that you just can't have. It was the four-pitch walk to start the inning to now Mia Scott from Grace Jewell, and now the hit by pitch. To two. Jam popped up to second. Aubrey Evans is there, makes the catch for the second out. It's Justman, the third night pitcher here tonight or today. You know what they say? Spawned. Yeah, they're chasing two, but what is that right now in a game like this? It could be everything. It's a hit up the middle. Williams dives, flipped to second, not in time. And it's first and second, but a heck of a play by Williams just to get there. Jazz Williams has so much athleticism back there. Look at how easily she's going to just get that ball over to second base. It is late, but just even the body awareness, in my opinion, to do something like that. It's up and down in the zone that are effective. Got to be able to throw everything for a strike at all planes. There's a grounder to third. Humphreys will tag the runner. Throw to first. Out. And he ends. One six hits, one air for Texas. Two runs, three hits, no airs for UCF. It's a slow grounder. Bobbled a little bit, but a nice play there. Nonetheless, made by Scott. He's telling me like, yeah, it was a good game. We did our defense was great. <laughs> then when you asked about the dog, she light up. Here's a bunt as Check throws. Why? Oh, they're going to say Washington did hold her foot on the bag. And ball. They're going to take one more look. It's going to be, I think it's even the toe. Look at the toe. It's still in contact. She makes the grab. It's fun at the highest levels. Yeah, that all stands. Austin, where they're expecting a sellout all weekend. As Griffin gets jammed, it's a grounder. Washington, so nonchalant, so easy, making the play. She just made. There's a bun attempt by Good. Justman Fields throws to first in time. Nice job by Justman. Good hits a fly ball to right. Evans makes the catch. So, here's a butt attempt by Henry. Doherty Fields throws to first in time. Aubrey Evans covering the bag at first. Doherty at first, yeah. Nonetheless, I mean, it didn't matter. Good flow. Out. Seen a lot of unique plays today, Alex. A lot of unique plays. There's a chopper to third. Uh, come up to third, Cody makes the catch. So all of that, all that matters was a once Williams and Aubrey Evans, six, seven, eight.
Bunt by Rowe. Check fields. Throws to first. Perfect play by Check that time. As Rowe. Check. Yeah. Good job, too, fielding her position. Again, coming from the left side, this is not going to be an easy play, especially with a player like Janisha Rowe with that speed down the line. But Check's going to field it, make the turn. Fires up at a first good throw. His former Longhorn second baseman, Ches Sievers. There's a grounder to third. Scott throws to first as Williams is retired. Evans pops it up. This could do it. Left field. Martinez coming over from short, makes the catch. And the Texas Longhorns clinch the series. They win it 4-2 to two the final as they take game two of this series. Improved to 27-3 on the year, 7-1 in conference. Nice, tough, tough one to swallow. Dropped to 14-13 overall, 2-6 in the conference, Alex.